welcome to the spider web for this video i'm finally finally making a dynamite battle prototype combo so i'll be getting a lot of comments about dynamite battle when it was first revealed and they said spider will you make a prototype combo and i was like no i'm not gonna do it until hasbro reveals it and guess what hasbro has revealed it, it the news is crazy the base looks really cool the quad drive system is what they're calling it I'm not gonna speculate on it too much right now. That's probably for a whole different video. But also, I kind of already went over it in one this one video. So if you haven't seen that, please go check it out. Link is in the description. I'm making a Roar Bahamut prototype combo. Now, of course, in Hasbro, they're gonna change the name from Bahamut to Balcash. Roar, on the other hand, I'm kind of eh about. But all right, so you go over the parts of that what I picked. So. Roar is pretty round, as you can see on the screen, it's just a very round layer. So, I was thinking, you know, honestly, that's the whole point of Balkesh. So, why not just go with Desk? I mean, it makes sense to go with Desk for this part. I mean, it's pretty round, especially in hypersphere terms. Pretty round. Is it as round as Arc? Maybe not. I don't know. But at the same time, it, kind of, it just looks more like... Um, Roar for the fact that it has all this purple and stuff and then the blue wings and whatnot Pretty interesting. All right now for the chip. Obviously we gotta go with Balkash. I know This chip doesn't really have the best of slopes though. So I will get a different Balkash chip. So Zone Balkash came with this Balkash chip obviously because it's Zone Balkash, but this chip Something special about this chip, out of all the Balkas chips, this one has probably the strongest slopes. So, I know it doesn't really look like this, and I know this would match it more, but Roar Bahamut was known for having incredible burst resistance. So, we gotta actually stay true to that. As much as I would like to use this, the slopes on this mold were just not good. I'll try buying a new one to see if the mold is better, but for now, we're gonna go with this. And for the disc, the disc it had... Was it Giga? I, I I don't know what this get what, but I think the um this that makes the most amount of sense for this is just wheel. I mean it's just heavy stamina oriented disc, so we might as well just use wheel. I would pick a disc that more resembles the one Roar actually had, but Hasbro never really made one that looks like that. Now for the driver, driver on the screen, I actually forgot the name. <laughs> All I know is that the one driver that should really match this is Guard. And I have a black Guard recolor, which came from the recolor of Legends Prison, which came from the Snake Pit battle set. It has a whole um, free plate out here. It's not really free spinning, but it moves around and whatnot. And then, of course, it has a little center in the middle. I think this matches pretty well. Of course, it's not the exact driver, because Hasbro never made it yet. But, alright. Put the whole bay together. Let's take a look at this. Pretty cool. Slopes feel nice. All right, this should do pretty well. Three, two, one, let it rip. Test launch. As expected. Um, dusk, or in this case, a roar swoops around when you hard launch it and then go straight to the center later on. Pretty smooth, pretty smooth. All right, guys. Now we got to put this dude up against some opponents. Starting out with Curse of Tomb. Three, two, one, let's So weird in this one. And Balkesh takes the victory. Alright, so it can outlast Curse. That's what we mainly want to see. We mainly want to see it not burst and outlast the opponents. Alright, let's put it up against the Hyperspear Day. How about Command Dragon? 3, 2, 1, let it rest. Command hits 
um, Valkish in the right spots. It might actually burst it with slow motion. But, this, this is Valkish we're talking about. So maybe it can resist it? I don't know if it'll outlast Dragon, but the fact that Dragon has a hypersphere driver. No, but it was really close. It was actually really close to outlasting Dragon right there. We'll do one more round against it. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. I don't know if that was simply because Command just self KO'd or because the dust actually hit it. Oh, excuse me. Roar actually hit it. But, eh, we're not gonna dwell on that right now. We definitely gotta use Raid Luminor for the fact that um, Roar Bahamut was known to actually defeat Rage Wanginus pretty easily. 3, 2, 1, there. Come on. Do it here. What? Double burst? No. Double burst? Okay. Not to... Okay, okay. Ray, Ray got a double burst on this guy. Okay. Woo! So Ray's the only one that got... Like, so far Ray's the only one that was able to burst this dude. Now, let's try this again. Three, two, one, three. Oh, ring out finish. Thus, this is me. Roar with the victory. Wow. Ray did pretty good. I'll, I'll give Ray credit for that. I mean, getting a double burst on this guy. I mean, bursting this at any, like, anyway is actually pretty good. Because this guy, I mean, this dude tough. This dude's pretty tough. In terms of burst resistance. Okay. Let's get another bay. World Spryzen. Three, two, one, then a Oh, I didn't mean to snipe the Valkyrie. Oh, well. Oh, wait, World is in less than. Oh, no, World outlasted it. We're gonna try this again with world and right. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, Valkesh should be able to win this one. There we go. Victory to the Valkesh. That's only because Opsis did. Whatever, whatever. How about Tactical Leviathan? 3, 2, 1, minute. And I forgot to put Tact in a flower pattern. Just with a good hit, but it goes down. I did not mean to do that to you, Valkesh. Alright, let's try this again. 3, 2, 1, the attack is going in. Can it take down Valkesh? No, it cannot. Valkesh with the easy victory right there. All right, so Valkesh is doing pretty well. This prototype is doing pretty good. I really like it so far. Now we're gonna put it up against one more opponent. And that opponent will indeed be Super Hyperion. Three, two, one, left. Come on, take that super. Y'all be super. Stay upright. Stay upright. And 
Pretty much draw. Oh, the slope's moved. I know. Now, Piran is actually a pretty strong speed storm, Beyblade. One more round. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, picking up the speed. I mean, it is a speed storm bay. Come on, get in there and attack. There we go. Can dust resist these attacks? I keep saying dust. I have to say roar just because. Well, well, my question was already answered before I completely asked it, but Balkesh wins. Okay. Get out of here. So, what I think about this prototype combo, it does pretty good. Pretty good. A bad time. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now, do I think the actual release will be better than any Balkesh? That's kind of a stretch because of Art Balkesh's existence. Now, I will say, I believe Roar Balkesh or whatever Balkesh, like whatever we're gonna call it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Roar Balkesh because there's nothing really wrong with Roar. But if they change Roar to something more epic, I'm all for it. But anyways, I think Roar Balkesh will probably be better than Dusk. I mean, in terms of stock, it should be better. And maybe in terms of layers, it should be the best Balkesh layer. Like, they give it the, the right parts and actually give it really good slopes. It's just going to be a solid bay. <laughs> just solid. Especially when it comes to customization, that will be so epic. Alright, thank you all for watching and keep blading.